everybody and welcome back to a brand new deck profile now brand new means definitely not brand new because uh, I've covered fluffles before but this is the updated version of fluffles now at first this was a deck that um, a lot of people thought that it would be dead uh, it would be unplayable um, you know oh because they need the extra deck to fusion and pump out fusions and uh, turns out they can't do that anymore well with this build, you can do that just fine. Um, the main key card of the deck is Mrs. Radiant. Now, there is a lot of plays. Well, with the extra deck, your extra deck is pretty flexible, but there are some staples you should play. Um, now, I saw a build that I I was researching different builds, and the this. I already added my own twist to this build, but um, the only thing that I'm not too um, too sure about, I just made this change right now, was to add a Thousand Eyes Relinquished, because somebody else was playing like Utopia the Lightning, but I thought, well, if I have my second instant fusion, the first target for my instant fusion would be Fright for Sheep, and then with the second instant fusion, I can maybe going through Thousand Eyes Restrict and then going to Link Karibo. Now, the problem is... Um, the chances of... If you're playing 3 Instant Fusion, seeing the second version of Instant Fusion would be really good, but because I'm not playing triple Instant Fusion, um, I don't think I'll run this. So, I'll take out the Link Karibo. And I'll add another Mrs. Radiant because it's okay. And we can add Fright for Leo. Or Fright for Bear. Hmm. Now we'll go with the. Uh, we'll definitely. Hmm. With Leo. I guess we can add another rank 4. So what would be Tornado Dragon? Tornado Dragon is our best bet since we don't have. A way to deal with back row, so let me just quickly save this. So yeah, I think this version is a lot better. So now with the changes to uh, this deck, the deck focuses more on getting your turn one uh, Mrs. Radiant, and then using cards like Fright for Fusion and Fright for pa uh, Fright for Factory to um, Fusion Summon from your graveyard, so that you can get your Fusion Monsters, and then using your Polymerization or it's here. I like this artwork better than the other one. Using your polymerization to use the monsters you have in your hand from all the card advantage you generated. And fusion summon. So ideally, this is still a very OTK centric deck. This is a build that focuses on you going second. And ideally, your board wants to look like um, wants to look like this. So your Mrs. Radiant, followed by your Fright for Sabertooth, maybe Fright for Tiger or uh, Fright for Wolf. And then perhaps try for Kraken. Uh, so I think that's the as well as try for sheep if you can bring it out using something like um, uh, uh, like yeah. So um, having your try for sheep because uh, try for sheep is actually pretty strong. Since it floats. So, onto the deck profile. Now we are playing a more. In my previous version, I was playing Fluffle Octo to combo with Fluffle Penguin, and then, you know, uh, making more use of your graveyard. But this is more of like a half graveyard, half hand deck instead of being more graveyard focused. So that's why I'm not playing Triple Fry for Fusion and Double Fry for Factory, but instead I'm running. I'm going for more for the poly plays. Uh, so, 3 for full Dog, this is like the best, not necessarily the best, but this is like the best normal summon. The, well, the second best normal summon after uh, Penguin. But this guy is really good because when it's normal special summon, you just search a Edge Gym Sabers or Fuffle Monster. So, standard 3 of consistency. Then we play double Fuffle Penguin. This guy is really good because you can special summon a Fluffle Monster from your hand. Um, and if this card is sent to the graveyard as a fusion material for a fusion Pfeiffer, you can draw two cards and then discard one. So sets up your graveyard. So say for example, if you draw for wings, uh, you can discard it afterwards. Um, and this card is really good. 
acting as like a, a gold gadget or a this is basically a generic summon special from hand a triple agent chain this card um the first effect isn't really relevant where it declares an attack you'll uh, add an edge but the second effect is really good because when this card is sent from the hand off field to the graveyard you can add one frightful card from your deck usually you'll go for fright for fusion but going for fright for factory since it's only a one of and you can search it is not a bad option um second um card like the second best overall card in the deck is fawful bear now the reason i say this is because fawful bear discards and puts himself in the grave and then you can add a toy vendor Toy Vendor is really good because when this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add a Fluffle or Edge Imp Sabers. As well as you are able to discard a card, draw a card, and if it's a Fluffle monster, you can special summon it. If not, you discard it. So this card is like the heart and soul of the deck, along with your Fluffles. So you want to like thin your deck out so you can almost get a guaranteed Fluffle. But even if it's like something else, you can always just... Um... um send it to Grivet and use it for fusion summon. This is particularly good with Fluffle Wings because it's the pot of greed of the deck, so I'll go into that later. Uh, we play double Edge Imp Sabers. This is only because uh, Edge Imp Sabers is required for some of the fusions, some of the more like core fusions that you um, that, allow, that allow you to have the disruption effects all set up for OTK, so them being Wolf and Tiger. We play Double King of the Swamp because this searches out polymerization. Um, meaning um, you can like discard it and add the poly, but also it's a substitute for any uh, monster as long as the second one is correct. We play one Fluffle Owl. I mean, the only reason I still play this card is because it's Earth, it's Earth and it allows us to go into... Um, Mrs. Radiant, but other than that, the card isn't really good in a way. Um, the only other, the only um, good side of it is is it such as a poly, or you can uh, pay five hundred life points and then fusion summon using it and all the materials. So it kind of acts as like an independent poly. So that's why we keep it as a one of a uh, triple fluff or sheep. Now this card you have to play a three. Because this is what allows you to go into Mrs. Radiant uh, consistently. So if you control a Fluffle Monster, you can special summon this card. The other effect is irrelevant. You'll rarely use, you'll rarely use it. Um, but the, just because it special summons itself, as long as you control a Fluffle, which most of the time you will do, makes the card uh, playable. Uh, we play one Fluffle card because if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target a Poly in your grave and add it to your hand. This is just a... This is just a an Earth Fairy that allows you to recycle Poly. You don't necessarily have to play this. You can play something else like Fluffle Octo. Um, if we look at Fluffle Octopus, uh, if this card is used for Fusion Summon, you can target two banished monsters in your graveyard and ret uh, two ta two banished monsters and return them to their graveyard. Um, as well as uh, when it's Special Summon, you can target a Fluffle or Edge of Monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So it has like really good effects, but being able to recycle your poly is equally as good. So I think the three most flexible fluffles you can like uh, switch between them are owl, cat, and octopus. You can play one owl, uh, one cat, or you can play double octopus. Uh, it's really up to you now. Octopus is good because it's water, and we can make my star boy off it, but. It would need it would require us to have fluffle penguin as well so that's an option so you can play uh one star boy with one octopus uh but it's not as consistent as your mrs radiant so because we have more earths than we have waters then we play triple fluffle wing this is what enables the pot of greed of the deck so basically if this card is in your graveyard and you control a toy vendor you can banish this and any other fluffle monster and then uh, draw a card, and then you can choose to destroy your Toy Vendor to draw another card. So when Toy Vendor is destroyed, it will trigger its effect to give you a Fluffle or Edge Imp. Uh, double Instant Fusion for Fifey Sheep. Um, and then 
uh, we play double five for fusion. Uh, this card, it's not a, as important as, as a three of. I think the only instance where I would run it as a three of was if I was playing full full octopus because uh, with octopus being able to send the materials back to the graveyard for further uh, fright for fusion plays is really good. But it's really up to you. And we play triple poly because it's a fusion deck. One upside goblin because it's a 39, de 39 card deck. But you can switch the goblin for something else like octopus, another fright for fusion. Uh, it's up to you. One fright for factory because this card is really good since it banishes a poly or fusion spell card from your graveyard and then you can fusion summon using materials from your graveyard. Uh, you can tag one banish fry for fusion, add it to your hand. If this card is sent for, uh, to the graveyard, you can tag a banished fry for fusion and uh, add it back to your hand, so... Um, that's okay, since uh, you'll banish fry for fusion, and then if this card is destroyed, you add the, the banished fusion back. Triple Poi Vendor. Uh, Poi Vendor. Toy Vendor. Uh, so, I already went over this card, you... Uh, dis but what it does is you discard one card and then you draw a card if it's a fluffily special summon it otherwise discard it and if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard you can add one edge jump or fluffle monster from your deck to your hand now because the deck doesn't really have any defensive cards like um you can play like you can play like fluffle cray and when a face up fluffle monster you control is destroyed by your opponents card or attack or card effect and sent to the graveyard you can target one of those destroyed monsters add it to your hand and if you drew draw a card this isn't like a bad card to be honest but it's not fast enough because it's a trap card but for our back row we are playing double storming mirror force this is really good because it'll give our opponent a lot of disadvantage returning the their attack position monsters to the hand uh, especially if they have like links plus xc's and whatever this card just uh, make sure our opponent goes neg goes minus and then we play double magical hats now The reason why I'm playing this card is because This card is so versatile in this deck because during your battle phase During your opponent's battle phase you choose two spells from your deck and one monster you control set them up set them face down and then um, the set monster Let um, so you set you Pick this, you activate this, and then choose two spells, two spells or traps in one monster you control, set them all face down, and then, uh, if it, um, when your opponent attacks it, it'll, it works as, like, protection, so, I'll just quickly read the card. During your opponent's battle phase, cho choose two spell and traps from your deck, and one monster you control, special summon them as normal monsters in face down defense position. Set the chosen monster if it is face up and shuffle them onto the field. So you reveal the monster and then you lay them um, face down and then you shuffle them and you lay them out, okay? The two chosen cards uh, from the deck are destroyed at the end of the battle phase and cannot remain on the field except during this battle phase. This is really good because it's it can uh, if you already have a toy vendor set up, you can uh, add a, a toy vendor from your deck and set it face down. Um, and when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, it doesn't need to be face up. It's just if this card is sent from the graveyard, uh, from the field to the graveyard, or I mean, if this card is sent to the graveyard, uh, you can just uh, add an uh, edge imp or fluffle monster. And then you can set the other magical hats, so you'll set, uh, so that way, um, because any, you can, I guess you can set, like, one of the polymerizations or one of the Fright for Fusions if you have a Fright for Factory on the field, but I feel like it's just better to set one magical hats, one toy vendor, and then your monster, and that'll be really good, because it'll thin your deck out so you don't randomly draw this again. Um, so, this is, that's why I really like the card. Uh, Onto the extra deck, we play one uh, Daredevil. This card is really good for burn damage. Um, we play the one Sabretooth. This is like the heart and soul of the fusion. The fusions, because it just... Um, if this card is fusion summon, you target a Frightful Monster in your grave and special summon it. This is what allows you to go for those OTKs. Uh, so this is like the most important fusion. You should aim to have this every turn so you have lethal on your opponent. We play double Kraken. This is like the good... 
this and sheep are the only fifers you want to have if you go first. Uh, because you target one card your opponent controls, send it to the graveyard. It doesn't destroy, it doesn't ban it, it just sends to the graveyard. Uh, it's a targetable send, but it's a send nonetheless. Uh, and this card cannot attack directly this turn. This card can make a second attack during each battle phase, and once per turn at the end of the battle phase, if this card battled, you change it to defense. Uh, the reason why you want this in def uh, going first is because it acts it ha acts as like a, a wall, which be that has 3,000 defense, as well as being able to just uh, target one monster you control and send it to the graveyard. That effect is less useful later on, but this is really good to like clear out monsters, since it can attack twice. Uh, one uh, Frightful Wolf, you play this because it can attack up to the number of uh, materials it was used. So if you use two materials to make this, it can attack two times, three materials, three times. Um, this is um, what allows you to go for like two, three, um, two, four, even 6,000 damage. So you shouldn't invest too many materials onto this, but the fact that uh, it can attack multiple times uh, always gives you game. Fry for Tiger, this is really good because uh, it disrupts, it destroys stuff. So when it's got a fusion summon, you target on the field up to the number of fusion materials used for this and destroy them. So if you use three materials for this, uh, you can destroy three cards. If you use four materials, you can destroy four cards. It doesn't need to be, the cards don't need to be face up or face down, just cards. Any, uh, you target any cards and destroy them. Um, and then it's also good because all the, fr all the Fry for Monsters you control gain attack. So this gives attack to all the Frightful Monsters. Uh, Wolf also gives attack, so really good. Uh, one Frightful Sheep. This card is really good because it floats. If it's destroyed by battle or card effect, um, it can come back from the graveyard and it has an extra 800 attack. So that's why it's really good. Then we play one Tornado Dragon to further destroy back row. Baguska because it's skill drain on legs. Uh, and it'll buy you like three turns. Castell so it can remove stuff, the shuffling in, into the deck, and then Devil Mist is Radiant to enable your link plays. It's also important to know that um, you can use a Mrs. Radiant to make another Mrs. Radiant, and then yeah, um, so if you you can use one Mrs. Radiant on one side of the extra link, and then um, use it to make another Mrs. Radiant and put it on the other extra deck monster zone. So that way you have even more fusion uh, spaces open so um yeah that was uh my uh fluffle fright for deck profile if you guys enjoyed don't forget to leave a like but until then i'll see you in the next one